Hello everybody. Um, look what's just turned up in the post this morning. So I will be doing an unboxing on these. These are cactus plants and they're from different sellers and they both turned up on the same day so that was a surprise actually because this one um, I ordered from abroad and this one's from the UK. This one is the cactus shop online and this one was via eBay so we will be doing an unboxing on both of these at the same time. So this one here again is from the cactus shop. www.cactusshop.co.uk and these are very good value cactus and um, I have done a, quite a few previous orders from the cactus shed so don't be confused this is actually the cactus shop and the postage on this is a similar amount just over four pounds for postage we're going to start with this one here which is from cactusshop.co.uk and I'm going to let you know what's in the boxes so you know what's going to be unwrapped in here there are two cactus plants and these ones are called Matacana Madisonorum Forma albiflora. So these have the white flowers and it comes in an 8.5 centimeter pot. I don't know whether they're going to still be in the pots, but that's the size that I ordered and they cost me five pounds each with four pound 47 pence postage. It took three days to arrive and I'll put a picture up on the screen of the pictures that were on the website so you know what they look like. So we get a leaflet here in the box and I did get an invoice as well listing what cactus I'd ordered. Giving you some information on cultivation of cacti and other succulents, desert cacti and succulents. Light, watering, temperature, flowers, potting and handling your plants. Whoa, look at those. I can't wait to see these cactus plants. They're not that spiny or they shouldn't be too spiny if they have got any spines it will be very minimal you do get some that have lots of spines and some that will have only a few spines these look like they are in their pots oh wow that is awesome there we are, I've took everything off now, just give it a little turn. There was a couple of bits of damage. So there's a close up of the centre and you can see a nice fluffy flower bud there. I hope it's still attached and not about to drop off. And this cactus has very minimal spines. There were a couple of spines that have broken off from where it's packaged. Um, they won't grow back. So this spine here was the one that's slightly damaged. You can see there how loose it is coming away from the areole. That will eventually probably fall off. So there is the other spine and there's a little tiny flower bud there that was at the bottom of the packaging. So as I mentioned you can see all the spines on here. Not every areole has a spine. And I really like that about this cactus. That's about the best I can do, but you can see the base of the flower bud there. So it looks like it is still attached and looks healthy and green. So let's hope when I put it under my new foldable grow lights that that will encourage that one to go into bloom. And I'm really looking forward to see the white flowers also you might notice with this cactus it very much represents 
similarities to um, Lophophora or the peyote cactus and sometimes people can be fooled into thinking they've actually got a peyote cactus when in fact it's not. So this one's a lovely one as well. It's got a few little surface marks on its body but that doesn't matter too much. It looks healthy enough. Managed to get all the paper off and there wasn't any damage to the spines. There we go, and you can see some of the surface marks there. This one did have a flower bud sat on top which had already fallen off, but I think the fan's blown it away. I can't find it anywhere now, but you can see there are some new buds emerging. To give you a sense of scale, I've just measured them and they are 7 centimetre diameter by the base of the cactus to the top, 5 centimetre height. So they're really substantial and they're in 8.5 centimetre pots. I'm going to lift one out so we can have a look at what soil they're growing in. So you can see it's got a really large root system there and it's tending to have that, you know, the standard sort of compost that you would expect of growing a large batch of plants in cultivation. So I will be changing that. It suits the plant from when it's growing from a young age. It does now need changing, so it needs to be more suitable for this cactus, otherwise it's just not going to survive like that long term. And we'll check the other one now. So like I said, they just come out really easily. Can't see anything wrong with that one there. Okay, so let's move on to the next box of cactus plants. This next box contains some, I think, beautiful cactus plants. So I hope they look as good as they do in the photos in real life. So we've got five cactus plants in this box. So I'll put a picture up of each cactus plant as it was advertised with all the photos that they used and the name of the cactus plant with the photo before I unbox and they come in different sized pots which I've also included with the photos. Have a look at the pictures before I unbox. So here they are, all wrapped in this plastic stuff that's going to take ages. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six here. And I've just double checked my list and I definitely only ordered five. So not sure what's going on here. It could be a freebie perhaps because it did cost me a little bit more than I would normally spend. But these are very, I hope, beautiful specimens. Um, very uh, select cactus plants. Oh, loads of dry dirt going everywhere here. What way round is this? I think I can see which one this one's meant to be. This looks like variegated echinopsis. You can see some variegation on the top. This is not going to be the prettiest unboxing, but tried their best to try and stop the soil but it's just going everywhere. So I've just got the rest of this tissue to unwrap. So here's the first cactus plant. I've dusted it off a little bit more so you can see it and I think this is the exact cactus plant from the photo. It did say that the plants in the photo were the ones you would receive.
So what I like about this Echinopsis is it's got these twisted curly spines. Never seen an Echinopsis like this one before. The second cactus. So here it is. Look at that beautiful Astrophytum. So this one was just advertised as Astrophytum. And it's got the fluffy bud on just like the photo. Wow, look at that. It's really a substantial size as well. So it's in a seven centimetre square pot. It's bulging out the sides. It's got beautiful form, very nice and even everywhere with the ribs. And look how fluffy every single areole is on this, it's amazing. So it's got its plant passport sticker on there. fluffy bud in the centre. Here at the base of the cactus you can see those dark brown areas. That's natural on Astrophytum. It can be a varied colour, dark brown to mid brown to a biscuit colour. That's just natural corking as the cactus ages. Really beautiful. I'm so pleased with that. So according to the number on the pot down here, this should be the Gymnocalaceum ondrii in a 5 centimeter pot. There we go. And I liked the look of this one because it's got all of these offsets around the outside. It's not in flower now. So I can already see through that little gap in the packaging what this one's going to be. Astrophytum Myriostigma Fucurio in a five centimetre pot. And this is the first one that's actually had a label with it. Look at this beautiful specimen, absolutely gorgeous. And this cost me, bearing in mind it's growing in an, a five centimetre pot here, £11.50. But that is absolutely gorgeous. You can see all the little knobbly bits in the skin surface, which is a characteristic of this astrophytum. If you just look straight at the top of the cactus plant, the little brown coloured round circle, that's where the flower would have been sat. And then just next to that there's another developing flower bud in the apex, another angle there. This one is the Astrophytum Asterius Hybrid. So wow, look at the colours on that. Look at the flecking to these scattered white bits. Fluffy areoles. Beautiful rib arrangement. Gorgeous. It's got a little flower bud there. You can see where it has been flowering here. Where you get the little dip 
where the bud and the flower had been sat. So I've counted the number of ribs that the cactus has, and it has eight ribs. Isn't that beautiful? There's a close-up of the bud. So I'll give you the dimensions of the cactus, just for your information. It's six centimetres in diameter and four centimetres in height. So finally here we are on the last cactus so I'm not too sure what this is going to be. So this cute little cactus is in a 5.5 centimetre pot and um, it's got little offsets going around the base of it so I'll give you a close-up. There they are. If anybody knows the identification of this cactus, then please do leave me a comment with your ideas. Let's take a look at the spine arrangement. So here's all the cactus together. And I think that they're beautiful cactus. I won't be repotting them in today's video because it's so hot. I might show you another time when I've repotted them. Or I might repot them another day and do a video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you to all my subscribers and all of those that have subscribed recently. So thank you ever so much and I do enjoy reading all of your comments. Okay then, bye!